I am joined today by our February volunteer spotlight, Mary Gravely. Mary, thank you so much for the, the work that you have done for the fund. I'm really excited to have this conversation and learn more about your background and, and history with the KL Cancer Fund. So thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. So tell us a little bit about when did you get plugged in with the fund? And maybe I, I always think this is such an interesting question because I find some people like don't necessarily remember the exact moment, but maybe uh, you remember the event. How did you get involved volunteering with the KL Cancer Fund? Uh, I am a cancer survivor. When I was first diagnosed, um, we had a list of oncologists to see. And um, Jeff, my husband, um, had uh, interviewed KL um, because he works with, um, at the time he worked at WRL TV and knew her well. And also knew her oncologist, Mark Graham. Um, I ended up seeing Mark Graham you know, for my treatment and everything. It's been 10 years this year. After, at some point, I wanted to um, kind of give back because uh, I was very fortunate. Um, my cancer was caught very early. Um, I, it was through a mammogram. I never felt anything. Uh, I was fortunate to have insurance. It was actually my insurance company who contacted me and said, you're past due. You need to get a mammogram. I was six months overdue. Wow. And, uh, and I went the next day or, or, you know, as soon as I could and uh, made an appointment and they, that's when they found something. I think about a lot of women who don't have that opportunity and I almost missed it. And had I waited another six months, it would have been a different outcome. That's something I really like about the fund is they, um, um, serve, um, they help un un underserved, um, underserved women um, with the mobile mammography unit and um, support. Uh, I was fortunate to have a lot of support. Mm -hmm. uh, I know a lot of women don't, and this is uh, an opportunity uh, or a way for them to, to get it. That's awesome. And so you went through your treatment and then it sounds like you, you stayed connected with the fun. I mean, certainly having that personal family connection with coach Yao probably makes the fun feel more personal to you. Yeah. Do you think so? We know coach uh, Yao back when my daughter was in basketball camp in wow. school and um, coach Yao um, because of uh, our relationship with her work, you know, with my husband interviewing her and um, working with her. She um, was always pretty close to Megan and um, made a big impact on Megan. I feel like her spirit is still alive, even after yeah. all these years. I mean, we're, we're 13 years into the KL Cancer Fund. What, what do you think, having known her personally as well? She just had that impact on people. Um, I mean, one example is, and, and I've told this story before, we were at tailgating at a football game, NC State football game, and um, Jeff, Megan, and I were um, walking to the game from our car, and all of a sudden we hear, Megan, Megan, we turn around, and it's Coach Yao calling Megan, <laughs> and goes up to her and gives her a hug and just completely blows us off. But Wow. You know, <laughs> and, you know, and here's this... 13 year old, I think at the time was just, you know, just sat there and carried on a conversation with her. Like, you know, they have gone back forever. And so, and, and like I said, my daughter's always had that connection. With wow. Her. And I, now you are, are certainly part of the great work that we do at the fund because we can't do what we do without volunteers. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about, I mean, I know you have been on committees, you have your own run walk team. Tell us a little bit about what you've done to stay involved over the years. Um, I first approached the KL um, fund pretty early on and they really didn't, they were just uh, kind of starting up as well and uh, just kind of kept in touch with them. And then when the uh, celebration run walk um, became an idea, um, they contacted me and asked if I could uh, serve in the uh, committee. And so that was five years ago. And then um, for the 10th year anniversary of the KL um, fund, 
uh, served on the leadership committee mm. to um, do the celebration for the 10 year anniversary. So tell us a little bit about that, because, uh, you know, certainly for people like myself who who weren't involved with the fund, then I hear so many amazing things about it. But tell us what was that like, especially to serve on the committee that was planning it? The folks that served on it were, um, I learned a lot from them. I, I really enjoyed being around them and meeting them. Um, my husband and I both served um, on the uh, committee. Um, we spent almost a year preparing for it. Wow. I believe. Uh, it was held at Reynolds and um, just was a very, very big success. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I love looking at pictures from it <laughs> and, and watching some of the video. It looked like it was so much fun. And obviously, a, a lot of hard work went into it to make it what it was. So what I really liked about it was um, a lot of people that attended the event who may not have known Coach well, uh, Yao that well, mm -hmm. walked away uh, knowing her a lot better and more about the fund. Wow. So that was all worth it right there. That's That was our goal. You mentioned this, but also your work on the Celebration Run Walk that we do every year in February. So we are in full-time planning mode, team recruitment mode. Uh, tell us, tell us a, a bit, since you have had behind the scenes since it started, how has it evolved over the years? What, how have you seen it change and, and evolve? Well, as we know, this year is different because it's virtual. <laughs> yeah. Um, and actually, I have enjoyed that. It seems like we've been able to connect more um, outside of um, the Raleigh area. Mm -hmm. uh, I know my daughter has started a team down in the coast, and um, I believe there are teams that are starting up outside of the state and across the country. And so that's, that's really cool to, um, uh, to see that happening. Um, let's see the first year, you know, we do it in February and, uh, it's, it's always been a conjunction with the, um, uh, play for K game. So it's always been a really good, uh, kickoff mm. games. And so the players are there, they're going to be here, uh, or they're going to be available on our week long, uh, videos, um, this year as well. So that's good. And your 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 husband Jeff will have a special role to play in that. <laughs> yes, in the in the past he has emceed the event, and this year he's uh, doing some interviews um, uh, during the event, during the week long part of the event. So, so in addition to your planning on the Run Walk Committee. Mm -hmm. You have also led your own team for the run walk, which mm -hmm. I think can be a little intimidating for people because they're not exactly sure how to lead a team. So what advice would you give to people where this might be the first year they're leading a team? How, how would you help them? Uh, in the past, I've had more than one team. Oh. So <laughs> you can be on the committee and have, I think I've had up to four teams. Okay, so you Dear are one event. Dear one event, not uh, over the time. You are a team captain professional then. Yeah. Like, we've yeah. moved to non-volunteer. You are a professional team captain with the KL Cancer Fund. I love yeah. that. So so what's some of your best advice then? Um, well, social media is is um, the easiest and um, email, emailing um just connecting with uh, your neighbors. Um, my Bunko group has been great. Um, I'm a member of the Western Wake Women's Club. Uh, they have been involved all five years and uh, have always have been very supportive of this event. Um, I have a run group that um, has participated. Um, I just use my resources. Yeah. I, you know, use my sphere of influence and um, and call on folks and it's a, it's a no brainer. And it's actually the um, fund makes it very easy to set up uh, the team and to register. And they provide a lot of ideas and templates to use. The fund truly does make it as easy as possible. Mm -hmm. if, if you would like to get a team started, we wanna help you do it. If you wanna start four teams and lead four teams, we wanna help you do it. That's awesome. Well, just join a team. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, join many teams. I I have actually joined two teams. Okay. So instead of being a K 
captain, I have joined a couple teams and I'm going to be joining my daughter's team too, because she better be joining my team. So, <laughs> it works that way. Yeah. I love that so yeah. much. So do you know, where are you going to do your 4k this year? Since everyone can choose their own time and place. Do you know where you're going to, to run or walk your 4k? Well, I'm going to have to do a couple of them. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because um, I'm having to, you know, do it. I'm doing it with virtually with my teams. So um, uh, just various locations, uh, greenways and neighborhoods in the area. My, my, some of my normal running areas, like my run group will run one night and um, my Western Wake ladies will, you know, probably virtually run together and, you know, pick a time and we'll all do it. When you reflect on the time so far <laughs> that you've spent volunteering with the fund, anything that really stands out to you as um, just a memory that you've held on to? I mean, the people I've met um, and the committees uh, at the events, um, the KL fund, the staff, everyone has just made it a lot of fun mm. and um you know there's no pressure to do anything um you want you want to help you, and this is a way you can help absolutely um, what are you excited about for the future of the chaos cancer fund fun and cure yeah i agree with that yep. i um yeah. i think they're they're making a big difference with um supporting um cancer survivors and thrivers and um, helping those who can't afford to get a mammogram, to get one, I'm a, I mean, that's what saved me. And had I waited or not had access to it, um, I wouldn't have been as fortunate. Yeah. Uh, so important. So yeah. important. Well, Mary, thank you so much for your years of volunteerism with the KL Cancer Fund. We appreciate it so much. And just like you, we are very excited to continue to make an impact in the fight against cancers affecting women. So thank you so much uh, for letting us feature you in February. Thank you very much.